The City of Toronto's emergency food response started in early 2020, when the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a global health crisis. Later in March, Toronto declared a state of emergency and the provincial government ordered all non-essential workplaces to close. This led to many food banks closing their doors, leaving many vulnerable residents in Toronto without access to food. Many challenges also quickly emerged for the organizations distributing food to local community food banks. I think when people hear the word food bank, they think of a singular place. But organizations like North York Harvest are actually networks of dozens of small community-based agencies. So we collect donations of food, donations of funds, but actually get that out to community members through that network of agencies. And particularly here in Northern Toronto, uh, many of those agencies are what we would refer to as very low capacity. And by that I mean they're volunteer driven, they may not have operating budgets, and almost all of them rely on public or semi-public spaces to do the work that they need to do. Those are places like houses of worship, schools, or community centers. So when the pandemic first hit and those locations had to close, we were stuck with a crisis in that we had food. We had a warehouse filled with food. We had trucks filled with fuel and drivers and staff ready to go. But we had no place to actually deliver food to community members. Through the Food Access Coordination and Support Table, a collaborative effort between the City of Toronto, North York Harvest Food Bank, Daily Bread Food Bank, Second Harvest, Food Share, the United Way of Greater Toronto, the Toronto Public Library, and the Salvation Army, we were able to find a solution to keep food banks open in communities where residents needed access to food. By partnering with the Toronto Public Library, we were able to open 11 temporary food banks at Toronto Public Library branches that operated until the libraries reopened their facilities in early June. Since then, the temporary food banks were relocated from library branches to other facilities throughout Toronto. Two of the temporary food banks remain open at Albion and Jane Shepherd Library branches. From April to early August, a total of 12,830 households have been served by these temporary food banks. The partnership that we've been able to develop with Toronto Public Library has been literally game-changing. Uh, in the best of times, libraries give a safe and accessible and welcoming space that's grounded uh, in the neighborhoods in which they operate. And in the time of the pandemic, that's critical. This would not have been possible without the efforts of our partners, staff and volunteers to support this innovative program to secure food for our city's most vulnerable residents. The City of Toronto is proud to have partnered with North York Harvest Food Bank, Daily Bread Food Bank, Second Harvest, and the Toronto Public Library for this initiative and other organizations as we continue to collaborate on addressing food system shocks during the pandemic and beyond. Thank you to the many volunteers who help to sort and distribute food. Your willingness to step up in very uncertain times to help others is inspiring. Your participation was and continues to be invaluable.